Okay, fellas. Um, the multi-ball and 20 gauge has been a big enigma. There has been more failures than successes with multi-ball and 20 gauge. But I have found one that has performed for us well several times now. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. It may do really, really good out of y'all's shotgun. But my, uh, my Stoger needs my little 20 gauge Stoger. It's the only 20 gauge I got. And it needs some work. The extractor's messed up in it. And I got a Benelli extractor ordered that I will install into uh, in, in the M3020 whenever the extractor gets here. But anyway, let's put together this 49 caliber tri-ball that, uh, that worked well out of a new 3-inch Fiocchi hull for ballistic products. Let's get it put together. All right, we need, uh, we need 30 grains of blue dot or IMR blue. And so we got a brand new Fiocchi primed 3-inch from Ballistic Products. Now, you're going to need an Obturator 20 gas seal. Go ahead and lay it right here. I've got a picture that I'll, it's a lot easier for y'all to see sometimes than me to actually grab the component. But this is it. Obturator 20 gas seal from Ballistic Products. PT2092 is a 3 inch wide, full length wide from Ballistic Products. We're going to have to trim this. If you look, they've got one, two, three little markers right there, rings around it. One about an eighth from the top, then in, in like quarter inch or three eighths inch increments. All right, we're going to have to cut this wide right here between the first and second mark. We just take our snips, cut it right, right between, and that's what the cut wad looks like. It's the three. We're going to need 349 cow ball. That ain't nothing to sneeze at, boys. 349 cal ball fit in this wad here. Pretty much perfect at that length right there. Take our new 3 inch. Okay, powder's ready. 30 grains of blue dot or IMR blue. Obturator 20 gas seal. Our trimmed PT2092 wide 349 cow ball. And I'm going to cover this one with precision spherical because that's what I got. Gets in there really, really good. Works its way all the way down around it. And I've got just a regular old just a regular white 20 gauge paper overshot card. And I gotta get how about that? I gotta get the 20 gauge roller put back in the machine. Twenty gauge ballistic products. That didn't take long, did it? Always make sure you hit it with something. I like to use petroleum jelly because it stays with it a little bit longer. Overshot card installed. Let me 
find my little got a piece of adapter here. Got just a little piece of cushion wad that I put in here in the in the little vise to where I can hold it. Alrighty, let's go to the range and shoot it. Okay, boys, brand new. Primed Fiocchi 3 inch 20 gauge hole from Ballistic Products. We've got 30 grains of IMR Blue, Obturator 20 gas seal under a trimmed PT 2092. We've got three 49 cal ball in here, which is about 1.1 to 1.2 ounces of lead payload weight. We covered it all in precision spherical buffer and a very pretty uh, roll crimp with just a plain white overshot card. Here we go. Ready, hon? Thirteen fifty-five. Can see two holes to the left of the bullseye. Yeah, that one. That one felt good. Well, fellas, I'm doing a. We must have hit a another card there. Anyway, I'm doing a six o'clock hold because with the sun shining right on this target, it's hard for me to see it. So I'm holding right here. And uh, we got one, two, three right there across the bottom. That's 49 caliber ball out of a 20 gauge going 13 over 1350 plus, 1360 uh, on the chronograph. It's fairly light load, pushing it with 30 grains of IMR blue or 30 grains of blue dot work equally well because IMR blue will be discontinued is the word from Hodgson. It's a very sad day. But, uh, but I guess we just gonna have to find a alliant blue dot, which is like finding hen's teeth. But uh, but anyway, that looks good. Let's see what's next. Alrighty, boys, and with all as with all great programs, they must come to an end at some time. Last one that uh, that was showing a lot of potential, I put a single 60 cal ball and a two and three quarter inch, a new primed two and three quarter inch hull from Ballistic Products, Fiocchi. Prime two and three quarter inch, a single sixty cal ball. It only weighs that's only weighs three quarters of an ounce. That's light in any load, even in a twenty gauge. That's light. But how we made this work, and it's showing a lot of potential, would be great for home defense. Especially, uh, it, it didn't want to run in my auto loader because, and, but we're still getting eleven hundred foot per second with this ball. Plenty, plenty good enough to be effective, especially at close range, like in a home with a 20 gauge pump gun or 20 gauge break open double barrel or something like that, this would be outstanding for home defense. And uh, perform pretty well at, at 55 yards, 50 meters uh, out of my Stoger that's ailing right now. But uh, anyway, that's another story. How did I put this thing together? We. Uh, we need 25 grains of blue dot or IMR blue. I'll tell you another thing, uh, fellas. I've uh, we've shot this thing with the uh, faster powders, with uh, 19 grains of long shot worked good, and it also appeared that 20 grains of HS6 will also work well. I can't video everything, or we would be videoing all the time, and it it takes 45 minutes to an hour just to set up at the range with all the multiple camera angles to make this stuff really pretty and really effective for you guys so you can see what's going on. Um, so anyway, those are going to be great performers as well. And we will shoot some of those on camera for you guys once I get this dang 20 gauge fixed. But this one was showing so much potential for home defense and it, it was no worse than shooting a 20 gauge game load. That's exactly what it felt like whenever I was shooting it in the Stoger at the range. Okay, wait, how did you put this thing together? Okay, we need 25 grains of blue dot or IMR blue. Let me get that programmed into the machine. 
two, five, zero. It didn't work that time. Hold down the back cancel button, clear it. Two. All right, it saw it that time. Five, zero. All right, enter to lock it in our target weight. There we go. Now we dispense it. Okay. Like I said, I'm I'm figuring this is going to be an outstanding home defense load anybody can put together. We uh, we need an obturator, 20 gas seal, and either a AA20 or a Federal 20S1. They are slight differences. You see the the uh, it, the Federal wide has slightly more capacity. We're talking we're talking a sixteenth of an inch here, or a, just a hair over. And either depending on which wide you're using, there's such little difference in the height here. But this is we're going we're going to have to trim it no matter what. I shot a double A twenty down at the range, so that's what we're going to trim here for you guys. Our powder is ready to go. Okay. We need this thing. You want a little bit of wing sticking up on this, but not much. Only an eighth or so inch. So we're going to take off at least that much right there. Only leave about a quarter of an inch up there. And now we got a guide. Square it off. That's what we're looking for. And if you were going to use the, the Federal, the 20S1, it would be the same thing. If you're using the Federal 20S1, this is what you would want it to look like. Okay? Very good. Now, let's get one put together. I'm going to go ahead and grab my overshot card because I got all kinds of stuff sitting down in there and I don't want to be hunting it around. Video's running on long enough as it is. All right, new Fioki primed 2 and 3 quarter inch 20 gauge hole ballistic products. 25 grains of blue dot or IMR blue. This is a light load, only three quarters of an ounce. Obturator 20 gas seal goes in first. Trimmed AA20 or 20S1. Goes in next. Sits down on top of everything just like that. A single, a single. 60 cal ball fits in there pretty tight so really don't need you could put an overshot card on it if you wanted to I don't think uh, I didn't put an overshot card on mine I just roll crumped them as is Just like a slug, you can see exactly what is in the round. And we're getting over 1,100 foot per second with this thing. So for home defense or taking out varmints and stuff like that that are messing around the hen house uh, or throwing rocks up against your daughter's bedroom, one to, uh, that's another story. Stuff like that, this is going to work out great. Let me take you down to the range and show you just how it happened. Well, I hear some guys saying, Wade, I, all I got is two and three quarter inch 20 gauge. What can we do with that? Well, let's give this a whirl. This is new Fioki primed two and three quarter inch hauls from Ballistic Products. I've got 25 grains of blue dot here. Um, we've got an obturator 20 gas seal under a trimmed AA20 wide we have one 60 cal ball one 60 cal polished ball out of uh out of 
Marty's molds. And if it runs in my automatic, I'm going to shoot a three shot group with this. And, uh, and see what kind of grouping we get here at 55 yards. Y'all stand by. I've never loaded 60 cal ball in a 20 gauge before, boys, so y'all coming along for the first time. Uh, if it runs it, then we'll just shoot a three shot group. I'm going to just try to hold it. It's still, I got that big old fat bead here on the end. It's high vis sight on the end that is not high vis anymore. It has burned out. I got to replace that. I'm going to try to hold it steady. If it runs them, we'll shoot a three shot group. Eleven fifty-eight. I thought it ran it. It didn't run it. Up there, it went back and left it in there. That darn extractor isn't working. I guess you'd call that equipment difficulties. But this is the only 20 gauge I got, boys. It ain't extracting them. That extractor is shot. Extractor is shot. It ain't working. 1191 we got on that one. All right, last shot. Eleven seventy nine on that one. I don't know if it extracted it or not. It kicked the bolt back. Nope. Nope. This one needs some work. I probably going we're gonna go back into shelf or go back into case with it until my my Benelli extractor is shipped today. So hopefully I'll be able to work on this. When it's supposed to rain for the next month. Here, uh, isn't that about right, Rachel? Well, I, actually, about the next week, it's supposed to be raining and cold here. So I'm trying to get this done today. But uh, they, they felt good. Velocity is good. So let's go down there and we'll see how those uh, 60 cal ball shot through the uh, high flyer at 620 constriction, which is a modified for the 20 gauge. Telling Rachel, I don't see how I could have missed that whole great big target. You guys can tell I'm a huge fan of the old Sergeant York movie. If you haven't seen it, look it up and watch that movie. Gary Cooper, great old black and white flick. Real old Americana. I love it. Great movie, Sergeant York. If you haven't seen it, be sure you see it. That's not bad. Those two are really good. I don't know what happened there, but you see, I was having all kind of technical difficulties with the little Stoker 20 gauge. So uh, I'm going to have to get that fixed before we continue on with this, uh, with this stuff. i got to get a new extractor and spring put in it. Well, hold on, fellas. I found us a bonus round in there that I wanted to try while I was down here. We got a bucking ball. I've got a, uh, we got 32 grains of blue and a brand new clear Chidite primed hull. It doesn't matter what the color is, just a new primed Chidite three inch hull. 32 grains of blue under an MG42 wide. Buck and ball, we have, uh, we have 10, 10, two and number two and a half, 285 special that uh, Marty made up for me, a 285 cal, uh, size mold. We got 10 of those pellets under a single 64 cal ball here. That's gonna be a total payload weight of about 16517 in here. A very pretty roll crimp. Let's see how this works out. That'll be interesting. Bucking ball test round. I put my kicks back in here, boys, because that's what I'd be shooting if I was shooting this bucking ball. Got the um, uh, the improved cylinder out of here, and I put the kicks standard full choke back in here to shoot the bucking ball. 
All right, here we go. Eleven forty-four. Boys, the sixty-four cal ball went right through the bull, but the number two and a half buck just kind of scattered out everywhere. I imagine. Uh, have it. This is experimental, but uh, we did buffer it. But I imagine that big old heavy ball under the shock of uh, being fired may have mashed the fool out of this, uh, out of that number two buck, and they've all been kind of square whenever they come out of there too. Even though these were powder coated, that's pretty violent. And that's a pretty big size ball to be on top of that buckshot. Um, I don't think I had a cushion over it. Would really was hoping not to have to put a cushion between it. But uh, different size pellets will make a difference. I've got some loaded up with different size buckshot in them, and we'll try those in the future. But uh, that's showing a lot of potential. Whenever that ball hits bullseye right there, that's supposed to be center of your load. We just get some buckshot here around it. We set up.